The convener of the revolution now has been released from the custody of the state secret service. Shoure was released from the custody of DSS following an order of the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. Shoure spoke to newsmen in Abuja immediately after his release, saying he will not relent in his pursuit of democratic ideals. Our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, has further details. Journalists had thronged the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, in Abuja, unsure whether Mayuri Sawori and Sambu Dasuki would be released. Many hoped the federal government would keep to his word this time and release the duel after they were rearrested several times, despite several court orders demanding their release. After waiting for almost four hours, information came in that Mr. Shore had secured his freedom. The press camper to get a glimpse of him. The wait has been extremely long, but finally Omoyele Sowere has been released from the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. This followed a press release earlier issued from the office of the Attorney General of the Federation of Bubaka Malami. Although Sambo Dasuki was not cited, Plus TV Africa will be following up to confirm if he was also released from custody. Amadin Ui, Plus TV Africa. And we're being joined in the studio by a political technical at Dayo Kayede to, uh, to talk to us more about this release. Uh, you could see pressmen all over Shore, but then Sambo Dasuki was nowhere to be seen. So I'm wondering, why is that shrouded in secrecy? But again, how do you feel about this move by the federal government? No, it's a, it's a, it's a good development that uh, the Attorney General took over the case from the DSS and uh, the federal government is now saying it should be released on bail and it should also follow those bail conditions. Now that he has been released, honestly speaking, I will also want him too to comport himself accordingly. We have seen him being released, you saw him entering that red car. But how about Dasuki? How about Dasuki? Where is he? We want to see him. But the report, but, the report by the federal government or the release by the federal government is that these two men will be free. Well, maybe, again, Dasuki did not want to speak to the press. We do not know this. Probably. Probably he wouldn't want to speak to the press. But, I mean, that long incarceration must have dealt a lot of blows on his one health, psychology, and whatever you can think of. Whatever you can think of. So you want to see, you want to see him that yes, this man is still healed and healthy. Because if you are holding somebody in your custody, you must, be sure, you must ensure his well-being. Holding somebody in your custody does not mean that you should deprive him of his well-being. But how do you know that this wasn't a personal choice of Samboda Suki and not that of the DSS or the federal government? And again, you know, you know that Dasuki is also more matured than Shuure. Dasuki has seen a lot of this, okay? So he might not want to uh, uh, come out and then go against the bail conditions. Because part of the bail conditions is, as you read out, that you must not do things that, be, that will be detrimental, that will be detrimental to the peace of the environment. And when you give up, when, when, you, when you reel out a kind of a speech to the people, without minding what to say, it can also eat up the polity, which might make them to. I mark you again. It might say one thing, and the people reporting might, be, might say, yes, he had said one, two, three. So also, trying to, to make sure that he hit all the polity. So being an elderly fellow, being a matured person, he might decide not to want to even talk to the press by now. He might even not want to okay. show his face, except okay. with his family. Thank you very much, Dario Kaede, political analyst, for speaking with us. Thank you very much.